morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at this truck right over there. He is apparently stuck over there. So, as me being a nice guy, I'm going to go over there and ask him if he needs a pull or if he needs any help or see if I can help him. I like to help people, you know. I know he's, he's stuck over there and he's trying to move, as you can see, but it's not working as of yet. He's not able to get her moving yet. Well, maybe he might just get her now. He looks like he might be getting her now. He is, yeah. There we go. There we go. No, he's getting her. Ah, good deal. Good deal. He got her out. Looks like it. Yeah, don't roll her back in there. Oh, no. He's still spinning her, looks like. Yeah, he's still not getting her out. I don't know why, but... He should have just kept going. He, or maybe he wasn't able to, but... I guess we'll do a walk around and see if he can't get out, then uh, I'll give him a pull if he needs one, but... Anyways, we'll get out of here. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, this guy has now moved out a little further. I went over there and talked to him, and... Asked him if he wanted a pull or if he had chains and he said yeah, he's got chains, but uh, he was giving it a few more tries and With wobbling her back and forth. He finally got her going So he finally got out of the hole the steering tire was stuck in a hole. That's what it uh, basically came down to is he was basically Stuck in that one little hole and this is the parking spot that we're parked in and he was a little bit in the snow and ice over there and I think that was the biggest problem why he was uh, stuck there because all of that weight that he's got on and, and then uh, getting uh, into a little bit of a hole or something and the tractor is a little bit too much on an angle and it takes the weight off off of one side of the truck and basically puts it onto the other side and the heavy side wasn't spinning it was the uh, Always stay light side, well right? That was spin. Kilometers. So yeah, he was uh, just spinning there, but finally he got her enough momentum that he could get out of there, so I didn't have to pull him, but uh, now he's on a straight stretch, he will be okay, but... And he was on an angle like that a little bit, he could go nowhere for a little while, you know, he was just sitting there spinning. But luckily he got her out, and uh, that's good what we like to see. I would have a hate to see him having to call a tow truck and cost him 800 bucks or something like that just to call a tow truck and come and pull him out, you know. Well, I could have pulled him out. Whatever, you know. I'm, I'm all for helping people, you know. But uh, anyways, let's get our morning started. So that's coming right along with me today. And let's see out of the window what I see. I mean, you are obviously also looking at me as well. That might not be the interesting part, but uh, hey, look out of the window and see what I see. And let's uh, have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you for joining us today. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in South St. Marie, Ontario. That's right. We stopped over here at the Husky Truck Stop, had us some breakfast. Now we are set to go for a couple of hours, I think, anyways. Well, the thing is, there ain't too much in the next couple of hours to stop at anyways. I mean, we do have the other flying J on the other side of South St. Marie, but that's it. After that, it's, uh, well, from right now, it's probably about three, three and a half hours till we get to uh, Wawa, Ontario. And they got a little bit of a truck stop there. They got a tiny restaurant there. But that's it, you know. And then we don't have anything there for a couple hours again. Little towns here and there. But other than that, that's it, you know. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to go in here. I mean, a good breakfast, some good coffee. And... No, we're good to go. We are all set. I'm happy. Yeah! Looks like we got us a uh, log hauler ahead of us. 
Well, it almost looks like he's got some kind of post, like these uh, hydro posts. Looks like that's what he's holding. It doesn't look like he's holding raw wood, like raw logs and stuff like that. It looks more like regular uh, hydro poles. That's what it looks like to me anyways. But what do I know? I'm just a stupid truck driver, as some people say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but... That's what some people like to call us truck drivers. They call us stupid truck drivers. Yet we are supposed to be professionals. Or they consider us as professional drivers. That's right. That's what they consider us, but... Better stop. I don't want to go through red. That's never a good idea. Going through red. But anyways, we're gonna get out of here, and then we'll show you some more there in the beautiful mountains. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in the hilly part of Ontario, and as you can see. From overlooking on the top here, you see the big lake up there to the left. Yeah, looks like all of the ice is gone by now. I did see some part of the lake further uh, east, I guess you could say, before I got to this part. That lake was still partially frozen, but up here it's not. I guess it's... Uh, bigger warmer water I guess it caused the ice to melt already but yeah we do still have quite a bit of snow up here in Ontario right here it's not too bad but I've been uh, seeing a whole bunch of snow everywhere yet still yeah apparently they had a snowstorm come through here last week or something like that and that's what all this snow is about. But if it had been given us any moisture here last night, we could have had snow. I mean, it was like minus six here overnight. So we could have easily had some snow. Here we are, guys, still cruising along these uh, roads up here in Ontario. Yeah, we'll still be in Ontario until tomorrow, but... Uh, pretty light so we can uh, give her pretty good we pass in a lot of trucks that are heavier than us but it is beautiful sunshine up here today a few clouds here and there but other than that it's pretty good yep nice and dry roads but here you can see a little bit better how much snow there is there to the left all kinds of snow left yet. Yep. Yeah, I am going to be home tomorrow. I'm thinking around lunchtime or just after lunch. I'm probably going to be home. That'll be good a little bit of time at home and then uh, continue cruising again uh, towards Regina Friday morning that's right now yeah, wind has picked up a little bit it feels like but not much it's actually not too bad but uh, yeah We've gotten a few hours behind us already. We've got about four hours since we left uh, South St. Marie. We're just cruising right alongside these lakes up here. I don't know if you can see that up there, but that lake up there is still frozen. You see everything white right there over the bushes there to the left. Now it looks like it has disappeared again a little bit, but. Oh, looks like we got some kind of construction going on. So I guess we're going to have to slow her down. It looks like they're going to stop me. Alright, looks like they're doing something with this bridge. 
Yeah, so we're gonna come to a stop. All right, he's waving me through. All right, or she? It's a she. Here you can see the lake still frozen up. Yeah, but it is starting to uh, looks like melt there in the middle where the water is probably flowing a little bit. Oh, it looks like they're cleaning the bridge a little bit. That's what it looks like anyways. Oh wow, that guy must be moving. <laughs> He's got his old little car packed of stuff. But yeah, here you can see it beautifully. How these lakes are still frozen. I bet you could almost do ice fishing on there yet. I wouldn't want to try it though. Oh wow, there's still snowmobilers out there. Wow. Oh, they must be hardcore snowmobilers. <laughs> there must be more snow in the bush yet probably. That's why they're snowmobiling over there probably. But anyways, let's continue on cruising down the road. Miles and miles of trucks rolling end to end. What a sight to see! How did it all begin? Corporal Norm said, Help me! So the drivers all pitched in, and with hearts of gold, they hit the road for his special friends. Now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Together, the same time every year From coast to coast, north to south They graciously appear Bringing hope and lots of love Loaded on 18 wheels They'll jam some gears And shed some tears To show how truckers feel There's a little piece of heaven Brought with every load When those highway angels come Spread their wings. The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. To that special athlete, it means everything. Well, the humming of the engines, the blowing of the horns, the black smoke filling up the air. It's the greatest show on earth. Imagine what it's worth. To that smiling face who sees someone that cares There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete it means everything Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy down the road to that special athlete it means everything Now, but uh, yeah, they got a subway in there. And, yeah, I figured, yeah, 
I needed a little bit of a break so I went and got me a six inch Subway sandwich. Yeah. Every once in a while you need a little bit of a break. At least I do. Been driving for five and a quarter hours so uh, I said, you know what? It feels like I need a break. Are we going to make us another uh, pit stop somewhere yet? Probably in about eh, two hours, two and a quarter hours maybe. I'm going to be making me another pit stop there. Because that's the uh, Flying J just before, uh, before Thunder Bay. And I want to go in there and... Uh, I want to go take me a shower in there. I need a shower. I wanted to have a shower yesterday, but as you guys saw this morning where I was stopped at, it wasn't even a truck stop. It was just like a little pullout area or whatever, and that was it. I mean, there was not even a bathroom, nothing there, so. No way I could do anything there. So we're going to make us a pit stop at the Flying J because that's where we can have a free shower so we'll get us a free shower today definitely definitely there we go now we can put the hammer down up to 90 kilometers an hour anyways <laughs> yeah here we are climbing these hills is not always easy you know Going up and down, up and down, and zigzagging, and you get tired from having to shift gears and being on the accelerator and stepping on the brakes all the time. And, you know, as soon as you start going downhill, you're going too fast, and you got the GPS screaming at you, over speed, over speed. All right, all right, you better slow down. <laughs> But anyways, let's continue cruising along here and uh, let's have us a good day, right? We are just about to come up to the uh, Flying J where we're going to be making a pit stop. That's right. Right up there. That's where the Flying J is at. And that's where we're going to make us a pit stop. And I'm gonna go take me a shower. Like I told you guys earlier, I need a shower badly. Oh yeah. That is for sure. Now this is a fairly new Flying J. It used to be, a, I believe, an ESO truck stop up here. But later on they have made it into a Flying J. I guess the uh, ESO sold it. And I guess Flying J decided to buy it. Yeah, I think we're gonna go park right over here beside these trucks up here. And then uh, we'll go take us a shower. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, now we have different clothes on. We have had our shower. Yeah, that feels fantastic. Now we're gonna put the hammer down and uh, try and get as far as we can yet tonight. I believe I still have about four and a quarter hours or something like that left for today. So I can still drive a good number of hours. Speed warning. Why well, you be quieter, RJ. You just got up to speed and you gotta scream speed warning already? Come on, give me a break. <laughs> So I think we can make it up to either Ignis. I'm probably stopping the Ignis. Because they got a big parking lot over there. So usually you can always find a parking spot in there even later at night. And it is currently 5.17 in the afternoon. So uh, yeah, we still can drive a few hours and be alright. Speed warning. Yeah, as soon as it gets dark we just have to keep an eye on these moose out here 
I know especially past Thunder Bay there is a one spot there where I always see moose out there at night so we're gonna keep an eye on it you want to help me right <laughs> yeah that's the plan but see all this construction going on up here to the left they're trying to make this a four-lane highway all the way they already got a good stretch of it uh, done but they're working on it, getting it done all the way up to Nipigon. So once that's going to be done, it's going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, definitely. But anyways, let's put the hammer down and let's get some miles behind us. All right, guys and gals, we are done for today. We are now in Dryden, Ontario. And as you might be able to tell, it's actually daylight out. And it is not, I guess, Wednesday anymore. I believe it's Thursday. Yeah, we got here last night pretty late. And, well, I think it was like 9.30, but uh, yeah, it was a long day. You know, I had lots of mileage behind me. So I said, I am tired. So I went straight to bed and uh, had me a good night's sleep. So I figured, well, I'll just finish off the uh, video ending this morning you know so uh, yeah so let's uh, let's close the show and then we'll continue on tomorrow with the next video so have a good one everybody we'll see you here right here on Trucker Rudy tomorrow come 2 a.m. Central Time <laughs>